This is the story of how my bike got stolen and the wild roller coaster ride I went on to try to get it back. I had a feeling it was going to be quite the adventure, so I decided to film the search for my bike. But I never, ever expected it to turn out like this. Hey everyone, Rob Greenfield here, and most of you know me as a pretty good news guy, a very positive guy. Well, today I have some not so good news, and that is that last night my bamboo bicycle was stolen. It was nine o'clock on a Friday night and decided to sit on the beach and watch the full moon. So I set my bike on the bike rack about 20 feet away. I'm sitting there for five minutes or so, and I hear a noise behind me and then I see my bike's gone. So then I start just running after him. No! But the bike was gone. This is the bamboo bike that I've used to bike across the United States doing good deeds for others. And here it is stolen. It's one of the very few possessions that I have. I have only about a hundred possessions to my name and this is basically one of the most important ones. So it's pretty soul crushing. Instantly I had to ask myself, how can I turn this misfortune of mine into someone else's fortune. How can I turn this bad situation into something that's good? That's what I want to do in the world. So I came up with an idea last night. Here I am this morning to share with you and ask for your help. There's a lot of kids out there who have their bikes stolen that live in low income scenarios where they can't get another one. So what I'm going to do is raise funds to buy 10 bikes for kids who have had their bikes stolen, have had their souls crushed and make my bad day into their good day. So please, if you want uh, to help, you can donate at the GoFundMe to buy 10 bikes for kids who have had their bikes stolen. And if you wanna help me find this bike, you can share this video with everybody that you know so that we can find this bamboo bicycle. I love you all, thank you. The next morning, after setting up the fundraiser, I borrowed a bike from someone on social media and set out in search of my bike. I've been working for hours, talking to the bike shops and the pawn shops and the thrift stores. I just talked to three guys that were sitting on the street and said, hey, have you seen a bamboo bike? And uh, one of the guys says, matter of fact, I have. And I'm like, you gotta be kidding me, is this a joke? I asked him to describe it, it's the bike. He tells me it's down at the Pelican at the end of Grand, sitting in the bike rack. I mean, sitting in the bike rack. This is the first sign. This is the first sign. <laughs> all right, I'm down here. There's bikes everywhere. I've been looking around for a little while at all the racks. So far, nothing yet. So the person who had it is definitely on the move and not here. But man, I must be somewhat close. I'm here. There's bikes around. I'm just about to pass a rack. You can see there's bike racks all over the place, so I'm gonna keep on looking. I tried to watch baseball. Not here. Five seconds, like all I see is like. So close, so close. All right, I got more good news. I went to print out some flyers that you got right here so that I could pass them out to the people that I meet with a $100 reward so that if they can find it, they'd actually be able to contact me. So I went back to that to get it printed and I talked to that same guy who had seen it this morning. He told me that he got some intel. The guy's name who has the bike is Guitar Johnny. So he's a skinny white kid. Um, so, and he told me where he hangs out, Guitar Johnny and he hangs out by Belmont Park and by the bathrooms by Grand. So I'm heading there now. The guy's name is Guitar Johnny and he has the bike. What the heck? Hey there. Do you guys happen to know Guitar Johnny? No. By chance? No. no. This is a flyer. It's got my phone number on it. And uh, oh, yeah, dude, that yeah, it's bamboo so you'll know it if you see it. And, oh. uh, all right, well, if you see it, you got my number. I'll hold them down for you, too. Thanks a bunch. All right. I'll hold them down let you do what you need to do. Oh, I won't. We'll I'm a peaceful guy. All right. Have a good one. On I continued, and then I met a man who said he knows Johnny. And more importantly, he said he knows where my bike is. Do you want your bike or you don't? I do want my bike. I can tell you where it's at. 
All right, do you want to tell me where it's yeah. at? So, I can tell you this, Little Johnny doesn't have it right now. Okay. We'll get it at the San Diego Motel. The San Diego Motel? And the bike's there? Absolutely. Wow, okay. Sounds good, so I'll go there right now. Off to the San Diego Motel. This is a little scary, going to a motel where supposedly my stolen bike is. Um, Here's the hotel. I just met a guy who knows Guitar Johnny and he said he stays here and he saw him with the bamboo bike. So, I'm definitely on the path. Hello, have you seen this bike around by chance? A couple people have seen it. Apparently a guy named Guitar Johnny. Uh, yeah? Yep, stole it and apparently he stays here. I have a friend, um, he has a lot of bikes I met. I think they're speaking about him I guess. Oh really? Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you know where I'd find him? I'm not supposed to reveal that, but... <laughs> yeah. Let's, let's go walk and talk. Okay. <laughs> yeah, apparently he's been around with it. Is there a bike shed there? Uh, and he has, he has some more in the room, inside the room. Yeah, it's none of those. And this is where he stays? Which one? This one? Okay. I'll ask. Okay. Good on the door, it said, okay. do not knock, call. Like, these people live in this hotel, but I knock anyway. Hi. So, how are you? I'm looking for a bike that I was told might be here. It's a bamboo bicycle. Uh, what do you mean bamboo? Uh, I'll show you. Yeah, I'm the bike guy. Oh, you're the bike guy. Okay. I've not seen this one yet. Oh man. Uh, but it, I can almost guarantee you'll probably come through me. Really? Yeah, just that's just me worked on or something like that. Okay. I just all I do is I do service calls. Oh, I'll you fix bikes? Yeah, fix bikes. That's all oh, I do. Yeah. Okay. I've been talking to people today. Three people said they've seen the bike. Apparently, Guitar Johnny has it. Guitar Johnny. Suppose. Do you know who Guitar Johnny is? I'm sure I can find out. Yeah. I don't. Okay. I know Guitar Frank. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, I don't know the Todd Johnny. Though. Like I said, I just work on him, so, but I do see a lot of bikes. You do see a lot. Yeah. yeah. Well, so, now you know it. I've got a hundred dollar reward. I so I can probably track it down for you. You got my phone number. Absolutely. If you find it, I'll I can swing by. I'll give you a call right away, man. Yep. All right, sweet brother. All right, Anytime. Yep. Thanks a bunch. Yeah, Thanks, brother. No problem, man. Bye. It was really dark by now, and I really wanted to give up, but. I knew that the longer the bike was out there, the less likely it was that I would find it. So I decided to keep on searching. Thanks for that, Rob. Green, Greenfield. Very nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you. When I walked up to this group and said, hey, it was Guitar Johnny, they were all like, oh, Guitar Johnny, not again. So, so Guitar Johnny's kind of like just, uh, he always steals bikes or what? Oh. I'll tell you the truth, I'll tell you the truth, the kid's got a habit. That's how he supports his habit. That's the truth. Oh, that's what I'm I figured. I'm not going to lie to you about it. That's yeah. Like he's a likeable guy. He's a likeable guy. He's a likeable guy. He's a likeable guy. He's been on the streets a long time. So what age was Johnny when he started living on the streets? 16 or 18. He was that young? 16 or 18? Oh. That's pretty young. I play guitar, man. Really? He plays beautifully. He's a good guy. Yeah. Street of the drug habit. Where are you at? Yeah. He's got a good heart, very sensitive kid. Yeah. And, uh, he was no, he's, there's no other maybe, way. No. You know, that's a good way to channel his energy, you know? Right. Yeah, he's good, real good. He's here. never leaving that guitar, it's always on him. Yeah. He's just ready to get it stolen. Yeah. If someone will just take the time to believe in him, you yeah. know, he, he can sing, man, and he can play. Cool. You know what I mean? And he just needs a little direction, you know? And he hasn't had it in a long time. He's been out here a long time. Mm -hmm. How long have you lived here? I'm born and raised here. In La Jolla, La Jolla. Okay. I am too. Really? Across the street. You're from here too? Yeah. No, we all are. That's why we really? stay together. Oh, wow. wow. You stick me on the ones that are the longest. You feel comfortable, safe around you. Know. Yeah. Every Somebody situation's yeah. different. Yeah. Our stories are different. How we got here, but. Um, my mom. But we've known each other all our lives, yeah, pretty yeah. much. Really? Our little, oh, wow. our little group, you know. No, we're like family. We're like, we're like family, we're basically. Family. We've known each other so long. You know? He's known, I've known him for 40 years. Yeah, yeah. the same amount, amount of time. It's a lot of time. Wow. Is that weird, huh? 40 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's my hometown. Yeah. Society out here, they don't like us very much. Oh, yeah. 
I would imagine. Even though we're born, we're, we're born and raised here, we're still out here. Yeah. Cool, man. Well, it was so nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you as well. Really, truly. Thank you for the help. I really appreciate it. No I'm happy to no hopefully we get the bike back. Yeah, I hope so, too. After hanging out for a while, a really nice woman named Chrissy told me that she knows where Guitar Johnny hangs out. Look, or I can't I go, promise anything. What yep. I'm going to do is I'm going to go and see if I can find it. If okay. I can find I it, because I know where he hangs, I know okay. where he's at, probably. Well, I might as well just go, I might as well go with. Just well, I'm going to take you on a wild goose chase. I don't know. That's I'm on a wild goose chase right now. No, 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 no. Come on. Thanks. Thanks for the help, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you got my number. All right, cool. All right. Yes, we shall. Chrissy took me to a McDonald's nearby, and sure enough, Johnny was there. Don't don't lie to me because it, that, those are my sisters, dude. They'll give it back. I know. Tell Actually, me. they said that they saw it at the bathroom this morning. Okay, it's no, fine. I don't have it. No, no, he did. He no, no, someone saw it there this morning. And he's telling me what's going on. Okay. All right. So, what did they sell it to you? I mean, what did, what did they buy it from you for? No, just tell me, dude. Nothing. I dropped it off. So they don't owe you nothing. No. Okay. After a few minutes, Chrissy got him to admit that he stole it, but the problem was he didn't have it anymore. Uh, he said he gave it to a woman named Michelle. And say you're sorry to this man. Sorry, dude. So here's the deal. I, I know that you stole the bike. I'm not going to call the police, but the thing is, I would like you to do, do a good deed in return for doing you know, being doing something that was really unfair. Like for me, that's my bike, that's my livelihood. I only have a hundred possessions to my name. He's I have just like, like seven hundred bucks. He's struggling, just like us, dude. But he's in the home. So it's really been a bad thing for me. But the thing is, I'm not gonna call the police because how is jail or things like that out. gonna help? No. That's, that's the mean. thing. What we need to do is we may, need to make the world a better place. You know, like you see about and shit. No? And the jail's not gonna do that. He's a good kid. I understand. You're a good kid. You know. Stop getting in trouble. Here, here's a here's the thing, Johnny. Here's a good thing. I actually did a GoFundMe. I made a GoFundMe where people could donate, and then I would buy bikes for kids who have had their bikes stolen. Damn. Which means you're actually you're actually part of something that's actually really good right now. In this scenario, it's a good thing. We're gonna make this into a good thing. So you don't even know, Johnny. You're lucky right now. You know. Thank you, Johnny. Let's get a handshake. There you go. Good handshake. Where is it? The, <laughs> there it is. Come here. All right, brother. Come here, Johnny. Time, okay? Johnny, give me a hug hey. too, brother. I was pretty flustered with my words with Johnny. I wanted to act with complete compassion, but I'd never been in this situation before, standing right in front of the person who just stole my bike. But I knew that Guitar Johnny had probably been through some really rough times, and most of those rough times may have been at no fault of his own. The night was slipping away, so I couldn't stay for too long. We were on a hot search for the bike and we had a new lead. We had to find Chrissy's friends. Well, the, but the thing is, is tracking those two down. You know, they could be anywhere from Ski Beach clear out to South Michigan to Jetty. Where did if you I say do they are? I, I don't, it, well, I know who they are. Okay. It's not where they are because like I said, we all, nobody stays in the same spot more than two days. Oh, because of the police. Days. Yeah. Yeah. So we're constantly moving, but we all stay in, somewhat, you know, familiar territory, if you will. Yeah. No, you have a window of time to get them back. Okay. But who he sold them to, they usually hold on to this stuff. Yeah. Michelle and Amanda have the bike. I'm just trying to track them down. They'll give it back. I know they will. But, it, like, if you see them or see the bike, could you just please call them? All right, thanks, man. You're All right, we'll see you later. Thanks, bro. brother. Have a good one. So I just parted ways with Chrissy. She's been helping me for the last couple hours, taking me to all the spots, looking for this woman, Michelle, who's the one who bought the bike from Guitar Johnny. I'm feeling a little, little, like, I don't know if the bike's gonna come back. I've just had one lead after another, after another, after another. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get it back, but I'm gonna keep on going. She gave me some spots to check out, some bathrooms, some fire pits. Um, so I'm gonna keep on working through and searching for the next, you know, probably a good couple hours if I have to and see what happens. I just met this guy who's staying right here. 
and uh, it sounds like Michelle's inside the women's bathroom. The woman with the bike, she was here this morning with it. So I found her. I don't know if the bike's here, but I found her. Cheryl, oh. do you have a, any idea where Michelle might be? Michelle is here? Well, I'm just saying, the jig's up, it's up in my face. Could you maybe just come out here and talk? Chrissy sent me over here. Well, Chrissy threw you up under the bus, and the bus is here. He said he was willing to, no problems. He just brought his shit back. I appreciate your help. Can I come in and talk to you, or do you want to come out here? Okay. Yeah, please. Uh, yeah. I'm cool, you don't have to, don't be worried or anything. I just wanted to get my, my bike back and... And I'm not getting the police involved or anything like that. I know that Johnny, uh, you know, Guitar Johnny stole the bike. I already met him and no one's getting any in trouble. It's just my, kind of my precious bamboo bike and... The guy that owns the bike is right outside the door here. You hear me? Yeah. We'll get up and get him his bike. Come on. Is the bike in there? Yes, it is. Okay, well, I can just get the bike, you know, and... Oh, yeah, I see it there. Yeah, can I just... Michelle, get up. Get the bike? Michelle. Right. The guy here owns a bike. Are you awake? I see the bike. You hear me? The orange tape. The guy here owns a bike. It's not a big deal, you know, things happen. I'm just happy to have it back. Yeah. I'm, I'm just your friend. Okay. I'm Cheryl. Cheryl? Uh huh. Oh, that's my girlfriend's name and my mom's name. Uh -huh. Oh, come here. All right. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. I really appreciate your help. And so there it is. Come get your bike. Oh man, it's got some tape over it. Yeah. <laughs> but that's it. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I got the bike. I got the bike. So glad to have it back. There it is. We got the bike back. Yeah, we got the bike back. <laughs> I just spent the last uh, 24 hours tracking it down. I've been riding yeah. over for, the, I've been oh, riding sorry. around for the last like seven oh, hours or something. So, but what I'm doing is I started a campaign. I'm doing, I raised funds and I'm buying bikes for kids who have had their bikes stolen, uh -huh. so that my bike theft gets turned into something good. So it actually is working out pretty well. Okay. Uh, here, I want you five bucks to donate to that campaign. Okay. Cool. That's hot. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> thank That's you. Hot. No, thank you. This is great. That really touched my heart because she was homeless herself and obviously going through her own hard times, but yet found it within herself to give to something greater than herself. I'm grateful for it because I'm overwhelmed. It's not it's paying it forward, but honestly, I'm just glad he got his bike back. That's good. Well, I love you very much. <laughs> Actually, I'm very grateful for this because I don't spend much time with homeless people and this has forced me to really get to know some people today. There's been amazingly helpful people and uh, it's actually for me been a really wonderful experience with the humanity today. Not only did I get my bike back, but when I got home after a long night, I went on the internet and I looked at the GoFundMe campaign and it had raised almost $5,000, more than enough to buy 10 bikes for kids. New at six, a man who had his bike stolen is now turning his loss into someone else's gain. Now I'm at the Boys and Girls Club in San Diego. We picked up 10 bikes to give today to kids that are about nine or 10 years old. Want to pass me one? Knowing the feeling of having a bike stolen, I decided I wanted to give bikes to kids who have had their bike stolen and can't afford a new one. <laughs> this is so exciting. excited to see their reaction and their excitement from getting a new bike. I know I would have been excited myself. He's teaching these kids the about compassion. So when I found Johnny, I gave him a hug because I believe that compassion can help each other.
I can crowd out the bad with lots of good. So one bike was stolen, so I can give away 10 bikes. And in that way, it just wipes that bad deed out. Looks like the perfect bike for you. Before I got the bike back, there was part of me who wished my bike hadn't been stolen. But then it came back, so now kids are getting bikes and I have my bike back. So it really worked out great. All right, we're ready? Awesome. Over the next few months, I used all of the funds that I had raised to buy bikes, helmets, and locks for 50 kids. And I even got a new bike for Chrissy, the woman who helped me find my own. I went back to spend a little more time with Johnny before I left San Diego. So people wrote comments and I, I, want, I want to read one to you. Victoria said, please tell him I can only see gorgeous and potential in his face. Please help change the direction of this guy's life. He still looks so healthy and damn cute. That's what Victoria said. Tanya said, I thought that too. He has a good heart and a good conscience to get it back to Rob. There's always good that comes out of the bad. Onwards and upwards, guitar jack. So, you know, people are rooting for you. They, they're happy that the bike's back. Johnny was emotional throughout the entire experience. I can't say for certain that my compassion towards Johnny changed his life or will change his actions in the future. But what I can say with near certainty is that being unkind to Johnny or being cruel to him wouldn't solve the problem either. The problem runs much deeper in society and the solution has to come through compassion and caring for one another. Can I give you a hug goodbye? Alright, see you brother. Through Johnny stealing my bike, an opportunity was created for 50 kids to get new bikes. We truly have Johnny to thank for that. I hope that my compassion touched Johnny and will stick with him throughout life. And I hope that my compassion today touched you and will inspire you to act with more compassion, kindness, and understanding in your everyday life.